This is such a beautiful and important message this week. I just wanted to get this captured without wasting any time. So what I'm seeing here in this nine block, so I went ahead and did a nine block for this week, which begins July 8th, 2024. These are actually timeless. You can watch them whenever you are drawn to it. But this, this talks about someone, probably you, if you were attracted to this video, who is having a major, we'll call it a breakthrough. Okay, we talk about that all the time. Like breakthrough, breakthrough. But this is something where it's, I'm breaking down a wall. And it's the wall that has kept me from being myself. I'm breaking through, oh gosh, the, this is, I don't even know how to word this. You're breaking through something that has maybe been traumatic. You're breaking through something that has kept you from living the life you've always wanted to leave. And we're going to break this down in this card spread. But this is finding the absolute pure joy that life can offer. You might think I'm overstating that, but I'm not. Okay. Now, let me see. I've got a different setup, obviously. So let me drag my microphone over here. <laughs> Let's see if I can read these cards for you. Now, in a nine block, this is typically what you would get if you got a personal reading with me. Depends on the person. Sometimes it's a simple cross. Uh, it's a nine block in this case. So here's the past column, the present and the future. Now, please remember, angels are not predictive in the way tarot cards would be predictive. Okay, not that's bad. I'm just saying angels really don't go against human free will. So having said that, if something predictive does come up, it is because you are ready to hear it. I also want to say I keep having to do like deep breathing here. That's when I know it's going to be good because <laughs> I'm being pulled into you know, a fifth dimensional and higher frequency and in a physical body and our third dimensional ego consciousness, we do have to usually breathe to stay in that space. So you'll be hearing me going and go ahead, breathe with me. I mean like deep breathing, like meaningful breathing. Okay. So then with the nine block, you can start reading across, you know, there are going to be correlations and things that go together here, but let's start in that upper left-hand corner. This is the King of Gabriel, and it says, Generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. Now, this is going to play out in different ways for different people. Okay, this could be somebody who was holding you back, because right underneath it, we have the Eight of Michael. And that says, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. And that's the key guys. Sorry, I say guys, sometimes people don't like that. It's a habit. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but this eight of Michael is showing maybe you were getting hung up for some of you, it's going to be a love partnership. And I'm talking, this is deep and meaningful. This is somebody who was a deep soul connected, maybe even a karmic type situation. Okay. There's some major breakthrough where you are breaking free of it. Now, whether that means you're giving up on that person and moving on, whether that means you are finding love with that person. Whew, stuff is there's so much. <laughs> there's so much and I love it. Okay. I love it. It's been a while since I've even felt this inspired. So I hope you can pick up on that energy and I hope it opens your heart and I hope it gets all of you just opened up and ready to go for creativity. I always talk about life force, you know, manifesting through you. There you go. It's manifest manifestation time. It's also part of that. But also being willing to connect with others in a beautiful, loving way. Knowing what the difference is between a healthy relationship and a not so healthy relationship. And that it's just so much. It's so much. So that eight of Michael and that king of Gabriel with the justice there, all right, this whole past column tells me I'm going, just forgive these examples as I go through this. I'm going for a typical kind of love partner. I'm realizing that was entrapment. This might even be a divorce that some of you are coming through. Okay, now it would have already happened. If you're watching this, it doesn't necessarily indicate that you are going to have a divorce. Again, everyone's different. I guess this would be the 
the time that I shamelessly plug my services. Okay. <laughs> Hang with me. Let's take one minute. Let's see if I can do this in one minute. Okay. Services. I do angelic readings. I do Akashic Records readings. What this is, is we dive into your soul's contract for the angelic messaging. See what where you are on your soul's contract. What are you here for? What's your purpose? How can you embody that? Um, what angels and archangels want to work with you or have been around you. We can talk about your guardian angels. That's an angelic session. And then there's the Akashic Records reading, which would be most likely close. You would be most familiar with like past life reading. This is a little different in that we don't see time as linear with angelic energy because it's not linear for the angels. We just roll with it. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we go into your other timelines. Who are you in those timelines? What was the purpose then? Are you playing out any of those details here in this lifetime? You know, any energy overlays from another timeline. Sometimes we absorb energy from another where, where it's being handled somewhere else, but we think we have to repeat those lessons here. Sometimes there's ancestral healing types thing types of things that come up. The other thing, I'm not going to be able to talk very well. Whenever this stuff starts really like buzzing, when that energy gets going, I can't breathe and I can't talk. <laughs> so it's going to be real fun. Real fun. If you're still sitting here with me, I, I do appreciate it. Okay. So those are the readings that I'm offering. Now you have a couple of formats that you can receive that messaging. One is my standard reading. It tends to be a little bit more affordable. Uh, you can book that at angelsouls444.com. If you're going to get a 30-minute session, or some increment of 30 minutes. If you want to book an hour, hour and a half, you just choose that many 30 minutes on my website. What I did post this morning, for the longest time, I had a 15 minute reading offering. I stopped offering it because honestly, not that many people were booking it. And I was like, well, one less thing on the website. So I took it down. And now I'm like, well, there might be some new people coming in who just want to kind of feel out what an angelic messaging session might be like. So I don't have that back up on my website because I'm just kind of testing the waters to see if there's any interest. But if you want to get a 15 minute standard reading, like the one I just described, that's delivered to you to your email. Okay. So it doesn't require any time commitment on your part. And yes, honey, I can do it just fine without being face to face with the person. Okay. I'm actually really good at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's how I always did readings. It's usually how I prefer to do readings. So I'm not influenced by the person's looks or voice or mannerisms or anything like that okay so it's like a pure energy read but the 15 minute one go ahead and email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com those are 48 dollars okay so you can send your payment via paypal or stripe to that email address that i just just said again email me tell me your date of birth your gender preferences, okay, because everyone has divine masculine and feminine within them. You could be physically a woman and, you know, you identify as a woman, but you have very masculine energy. So I don't want to, you know, be calling you the wrong pronouns. So let me know what your pronouns are. I'm cool with that. Uh, and if you're rolling your eyes about it, listen, hey, yo, like just be loving, okay? Like what's your problem? Just be loving. That's it. That's all you got to be. Don't judge. It's okay if you're not doing it. It's cool. I mean, if you don't care about pronouns for yourself, it's cool. So just do that. That's for the standard readings. Now, live readings. That, those I do over Zoom. This is more than a minute. I'm so sorry. Those I do over Zoom. You email me again if you are interested in a live session at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'll let you know if there's any space available. Um, right now, gosh, I'm getting this up kind of late on Monday night on the 8th, uh, probably pretty late on the 8th. Um, Tuesday, I still have some slots open. I could potentially, like I'm getting some stuff done. So I might have some spots open during the rest of the week. Those are a little bit more, like I said, limited, but you can email me, see what's available. Then I have live courses. <sighs> now I can't breathe because it's too much. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want any of those services, Hop in line. Um, I think after tomorrow or Wednesday, the standard readings should be back to one to two day wait time after Tuesday or Wednesday. I still have some more clients to take care of. So if you want a standard reading, now's the time to get in line for one of those. That way, as soon as I'm done with those other clients, 
I move right on to your reading. Okay, there's all that. Whew. Courses at gumroad.com slash angel souls. I got a lot of crap going on, okay? Because <laughs> I've been at this a long time. There's all kinds of things everywhere. There's Substack, check the description box. I guess I should have just said that. Anyway, back to the reading. Again, bless you. Blessings coming to you if you're patient and you're kind and you're not judging me for talking too much, okay? So <laughs> for some of you here in this past column, this is a challenging situation. Uh, and we'll read the justice card. That's the number eight on there. It's Archangel Raguel. I'll explain that here in a second. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Raguel helps you understand the lessons through other people. Helps you understand your love patterns. Helps you understand, I would even say, um, grief is kind of coming up right now. Which is interesting because we so largely associate grief with Archangel Azrael. He's the Archangel of Transformation. But in this case, it's Raguel. Like maybe coming to peace with someone who has crossed over. So many different things coming through. Now, if you are actually dealing with a legal situation at this time, that might have been something that really had you trapped. But you're coming on through. All right, you're coming on through. So then that would turn that King of Gabriel into somebody who might be helping you. That could be a lawyer. I mean, usually that would be a Michael card, but this could be someone who has a lot of good ideas. The King of Gabriel is creative, right? Has a creative way around. He might not be the smartest guy in the room, but he's the most creative, <laughs> okay? Then we get to the central column. This is the present. Now, again, this is going to mean different things for different people, but let's start at the top there. Whenever that card's like hovering up there at the top, this is the overall message of the card spread. So it sort of colors the meaning of all the others. This is three of Ariel, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. This is what I was talking about, guys. This is what I was talking about. If you have not gotten to that creative project, if you have not made your dreams come true, I'm going to say that. If you have not made your dreams come true, something's breaking free. And yes, this week or whenever you see this video. Maybe you realize, hey, I need to see myself in a different light. Or you know what? I do hold myself back. Or I don't allow myself to commit to my dreams. Now, I'm not encouraging anybody to just go up and quit their job and be like, forget everybody. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna go live my life. And then you fall flat on your face because you want to be a pop star, but you don't know how to sing or dance, right? That's not what we're saying here. I'm talking about a deep emotional spiritual experience a spiritual movement that's happening for you it's just incredible it's just incredible there at the heart of the reading we have three of Raphael reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children I'm telling you some of you are falling in love this week because you figured out what love is and you realize it's not something that you think about it's something that just is. It's something that you experience like God. God is an experience to me. Okay. But that having reasons to celebrate, I don't know, that, that, that three of Raphael is like a healing in your heart space because you found your people. Okay. Or you found acceptance. You found people who really understand you and you feel like you can connect with them where it's not this thing of sometimes they like me, sometimes they don't, even adults go through this any of you attract in people who peaked in high school and then they act like <laughs> they can live that way the rest of their lives and just go around judging everyone like nobody else matured well we did and we see you okay you don't have to deal with that anymore now you have authentic partnerships authentic connections now we have seven of gabriel here at the base of the reading it says stand up for what you believe in have confidence Claim your personal power. What this tells me, along with this justice card, someone's going to try to stop you. Someone's going to try to stop you. They're going to say, are you sure? Putting doubt in you. You can't do that. Who do you think you're, what, you think you're going to go out there and actually create something meaningful? Yes. 100% yes. That's the seven of Gabriel. If you're going to come for me, I'm going to show you how well I fight. And that's okay. And if you're judging, you probably peaked in high school. I'm just going to let you know that. Tell your friends. Okay. 
So let's get into this future column here. So we have the four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. This is not going to go quite as smoothly as maybe you had anticipated. Maybe you're like, well, yes, I'm having this huge breakthrough. But maybe you do sit down to do that creative project and you find out you're a little rusty. If that's the case, don't give up. It's just temporary, okay? You just need to give yourself a little bit of time to get back into it. But the Four of Raphael is a self-sabotage type card. So what I think is going to happen here, you're having this breakthrough. Some realization is hitting. You might be having really extraordinary dreams where you are madly in love with someone and they're madly in love with you. I shouldn't even put the word madly on it because it's like a deep soul connection kind of love. Or in your dream, your dreams have come true. And maybe you produce that thing that you've always wanted to create. Or if you've always wanted to have a child in your dream, you see your child's face. Maybe you're holding your baby. I, it's this level. It's this level. It's time hopping. It's time line hopping. Angels can help out with that as well. Just so you know. So that would be, and I'm not giving them that in a general reading because that's going to be very specific to each person. But I'm offering the 15 minute one if you don't want to go crazy with a reading. Okay. Like, so there you go. But we could talk about time hopping with the angels and helping you break free of basically a short circuiting timeline in favor of a more cleaned up one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where your dreams are coming true. I love it because you're ready. Now, you can't just time hop without being ready. Or I should say timeline hop. I turned us all into time travelers. Did you see that? That, that was great. Maybe that means something because I slipped up. Look at this Empress card. Check her out. Okay, so that's the number three, the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. I can't see the card. Let me look around my camera here. Time to act upon your plans. What does that say? Creativity. <laughs> Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, and abundant resources. Let me read the next one. We got to get into this. I love this so, so, so much. Four of Gabriel. Look at all the Gabriel in here. Tons and tons and tons of Gabriel that's giving birth to the next chapter of your life. It's giving birth to a new version of you. This could be reparenting your inner child. So those things that every time you want to be successful, anytime you just want to be happy, you remember there's some reason not to be happy. Well, here's your breakthrough. Now, of course, if you're still uh, dealing, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Sorry about that. If you are trying to deal with something deep and psychological, make sure you get with a professional in that field, a therapist, a psychiatrist. Don't ignore that part. Same thing as like going and seeing a doctor if you need medical help. Okay. Now the final outcome card here is for Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant re rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Look at the theme of release celebrate you are arriving you are arriving will you please do me a favor now for some of you you might say well Michelle I'm not seeing any results this week so I always encourage people watch it when I watch the videos when I get them up and then watch them at the end of the week it may not look the same for everybody like some people are going to get that promotion this week I ain't even playing around with you like some people are going to fall in love this week some people are going to get engaged some people are going to fall deeper in love with their partner that they're with now. Some bit of happiness is going to break open. And for others of you, it's the feeling. Because that for you is what needs to shift first. So maybe nothing outside of you necessarily looks different, but how you feel about it has changed immensely. And that Four of Gabriel, again, we see a couple there being watched over by angels. We see abundant and beautiful, pure friendships. Not the kind that you, um, it's not the kind of friendship where people are like, oh my gosh, I know we're soulmates. Educate yourselves on love bombing and stay away from those types of relationships, okay? Or where you feel like you can fix someone. You are freeing yourselves. You're stepping into this empress energy. You're giving birth to a new situation. I'm excited for it. I ain't even going to lie to you. The battery on my camera is about to die. Let me see if I can get this story out. I have been kind of drained recently. Uh, and I took a nap tonight. I'm not usually a napper. I mean, when I take a nap, I really needed it. So when it happens, I let it happen. And in this dream, 
I just completely saw a different version of myself. Now, when I woke up, and this is how you know with dream work that something deeper than just a dream happened. It sticks with you. You're still experiencing the dream in your waking state, the emotions from that dream. It's, it's changed you in some way. That's what happened when I woke up from this. And I was feeling, like I said, a little drained. I'm like, oh gosh, you know, I know it's Monday. I should really get this video up, but I just need to rest. I took the nap. When I got up, when I tell you, I made a beeline over to this camera and I was like, you know what? My hair's a mess. I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> it's fine. Just do it like this. Who cares? Who cares? You don't need to be seeing my face every week. Okay. Okay. And if you need to see my face, there's literally, I, I don't even know how many videos, thousands of videos that I have up. Go explore the hairstyles I've had. <laughs> Go right ahead. But there was something special going on. And it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. There's the 8 on justice. I'm recording this on July 8th. 8 is, you know, associated with abundance. There's all kinds of abundance being mentioned throughout this card spread. So if you do have something that is an ending or something that kind of breaks your heart this week, oh, honey, when I tell you that was the thing that was in the way, embrace it. Embrace it because whatever is going out, something really big is coming in. So we're going to leave it there. Comment down below. Let me know how it is affecting you. Okay. If you want, like I said, to get a reading, I gave all those resources, angelsouls444.com to book a standard reading. Or if you want to book a 15-minute standard reading or a live session or a live course, a one-on-one -on -one course, like a coaching type thing, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Get in line for those standard readings. I'm going to be cooking this week. Yes. Let's channel this energy. Let's grab it. Let's grab this. Okay. I love you guys so, so much. Take care.